when you're caught by seasickness on a long voyage is not that bad. When you're caught as a stowaway, it's much worse. Just you wait. We'll be in Plymouth in no time, and the Port Patrol will have you sent straight to jail. A filthy cell for a filthy criminal. That's fair, isn't it? <laughs> Move yourself! I can't waste all day on you! Get up, quick! What a hospitable welcome. A man of the law who doesn't even care that the sailor has robbed me. My greatest sorrow is for my medallion. The only memory of my parents. Come on, move! If the orphanage in Nace taught me anything, it was to take care of myself. This officer doesn't look like he fancies a swing. Damn it! The White Beast is dead. The dead body of young Sir William Arthur Lewis, infamous as the White Beast, was found in the early hours of this morning by his servant. A doctor who examined the body confirmed natural, though sudden, death. The date of the funeral has not yet been announced, probably because of safety measures. During his short life, Sir William was accused of many different crimes. None of them have ever been proven. Stupid idea. I almost died there. And what am I going to do now? Some clothes would be handy, and these handcuffs scratch like hell. No, it won't be that easy. I can still handle this. Nice spikes. I wonder whether they have a practical use as well. I'd rather not climb over it. These spikes are pretty sharp. Hmm. Let's try something. Hmm. That wasn't too good. I don't give a damn about it. I've already committed far worse deeds. I don't expect much of this. What for? It's not even enough for a coffin. If I had a big hammer, I'd try to break through. It'd be worth finding out how thick it is. But how? I 
I'll dismantle it into bricks, one after another, if it's necessary. I can't go on like this. There are too many of them here. No great shakes, just one dis- The first one came out easily. I don't care about the others. It might be a way out. I can smell the fresh air. Without a tool, it's pointless. I ram it into the lock and hit it as hard as I can. Unless the lock is enchanted, it'll fall apart. I knew it. That always works. is this? It smells as if someone boiled soap or something. I think nobody's up there. This is my chance to get out. soul in here. Work has never been my hobby. I can't understand how anybody could stand here all day. This reminds me I'm pretty stinking from the sewers. Maybe I can have a bath later. What an assortment of clothes. But do they smell like pickled cabbage? I'd rather go around naked than with this on. That isn't my cup of tea. I'm not going to touch it. A thief still has his pride. I'm a specialist in pockets and wallets with this. What an interesting invention. There's no need to even guess what it's good for. That's exactly what I need. I don't want to catch pneumonia. There's plenty of wood. No need to worry about that. It's not safe for me outside. I bet they're still looking for me. someone in here. Now I'll have to explain myself. Um, good evening, miss. <gasps> Holy Mary, Mother of God! What do you want? Oh, please, calm down. You've nothing to fear. If you touch me, I'll scratch your eyes out. Oh, look, can you see my hands? I'm harmless. Trust me. Get out of here! Miss, I'm not a criminal. They robbed me after I'd boarded the ship, and then they caught me as a stowaway. I came to ask for your help. You're my only chance. Why should I trust an escaped prisoner? I'm not a stupid ninny. You're right. I wouldn't trust me if I were you. But you know what? If you want to call the police, I won't stop you. They're certainly looking for me, so please, you can just shout out the window. Sure, and as soon as I'll turn away, you'll attack me. If you don't trust me, I'll go downstairs, and you can call the English policeman. Just do it. I'm fed up with everything anyway. Wait a minute. Aren't you the prisoner from the port? One policeman's already been here. They're looking for you. So you can see I'm not lying. Do you really think I would harm a person? How could I know? But you really don't look like a criminal. My name is Timothy Moore. 
I'd doff my hat in front of you if I had one, miss. Emily Gray, and you'd better stop it before I start to blush. I'm not partial to talks like this. If you behave yourself, you can stay here for a while. I'm not particularly fond of the police, so I have no reason for helping them. But please, be quiet. The policeman said he was going to drop by again. Thank you. You're my angel, Emily. I'll never forget it. A few smiles and I'll have her eaten out of the palm of my hand. These simple girls are all the same. We had a similar device in the orphanage. But instead of clothes, they used to jam our fingers. I thought of sticking the chain in it, but I wouldn't be able to turn the wheel round. I'm not sure if I should risk looking out. Everything is so quiet. Suspiciously quiet. firmly hammered into the wood, but I'd more likely break it than pull the handcuffs off. They won't budge. It won't go any further. I almost dislocated my thumb. I can see they don't save on soap here. What for? I don't even have a bed. I'd like to apologize once again for frightening you. It's all right, but I must confess I froze with fright for a second. I didn't think so. You looked very assertive. Ha ha, in a pig's eye. But if he came closer, I would really scratch your eyes out, believe me. Oh, I don't doubt that. You're very courageous and kind. Any other girl would definitely oust me. Who knows, she might be right. So try not to disappoint me. Emily, what did the policeman say? I don't think you have to worry, Tim. When he comes back, I'll tell him not to bother. He has no idea where you've disappeared to, but how did you manage to do that at all? I don't really know, actually. Suddenly I was in the water and I swam through the sewers. Oh my God, you could have drowned. Why did you risk so much? Well, what else could I have done? Englishmen don't care whether I'm a criminal or not. The fact I'm an Irishman is enough for them. You're right. But if they catch you now, you'll end up much worse. Exactly. What a clever girl. Now move and help me so I can get out of here. I have a problem. I'd say you have more than one. Well, yeah, you're probably right. But this one's beyond my control. I need to get rid of these handcuffs. Could you help me? You can't really be a thief when you don't know how to get handcuffs off. Exactly. I'm just an ordinary man. I've no experience with situations like this. Neither have I. I don't know how to unlock them. Well, it wouldn't be possible anyway. There is no lock, you see. It's just the big rivet holding them together. But if you held them tight, I could manage to pull my hands out. Tim, I'm really sorry, but it won't work. I don't have the strength. Please, don't be angry. It doesn't matter. I'll manage. Damn. I'm probably pushing her too much. I must get a reading from the palm of my hand. Otherwise she may turn me in. Could I use that angle? Sure, why not? What do you need it for? I've got an idea. I'd like to pull the chain through these rulers. You would have to turn the handle with all your strength. What? You 
crazy. Don't you dare. I don't want to get in trouble if the mangle gets broken. Emily, please. There's nothing to worry about. I just want to try it. Never. I don't sweat blood here just to buy a new mangle. Stupid girl. My skin's bloodied and she cares only for the damn mangle. But there's no other way. I have to act like a proper gentleman. Do you know what's on my mind? I wonder what such a nice girl is doing here so late at night. Thank you, Tim. I'm truly exhausted, but everything must be done before dawn. Why do they leave it all up to you? You're not a slave, are you? Well, somehow I've broken the washing machine downstairs. And I can't afford to pay someone to fix it. The owner of the laundry was so kind, she allowed me to stay at night and finish my work. I won't let it be this way. You help me, now it's my turn. I don't know. Are you able to fix the machine? You bet. Just leave it to me. But I'm afraid it could be a problem with these handcuffs. So what about helping me to get them off first? Tim, I already told you it's not possible. It's not worth breaking the mango. I'm sure you'll manage somehow. Oh, stupid me. If only I'd kept my mouth shut. Now I have to fix that bloody machine. Emily, I won't disturb you anymore. Goodbye for now. It's all right, Tim. Come back whenever you want. <laughs>